So before starting the C programming, first of all, we have to discuss about why you are writing the program and what is the approach that we have to follow for writing the program. Uh, when we do the mathematics, first of all, we have to learn about <clears throat> the formulas. The similar way, in a developing sector, it doesn't mean when you assign a project, you go over there and start or write the codes. First of all, you have to analyze what is the customer requirement. It is just like a, when you are going to the tailor, the tailor is asking what is the designing you want. And based upon the design, the required clothes are available or not. If the clothes are there, then the tailor is taking the measurement and start cutting the clothes and then stitching. The similar thing is happened in logic building and effective problem solving. It is a software development tools. Before writing the program, it gives you the logic how you have to write the code and you, how you have to perform it. Now check here, as you know that a computer, it accepts the input from user, process the input and generate the output. The computer work is it accept the input from the user, process the input, and generate the output. Means your computer works on three cycles. That is called as the IPO cycle. Computer works on three cycles. That is called as the IPO cycle. The similar way, this IPO cycle is based upon this input process and output. The cycle of activity performed by computer is also known as IPO cycle, input process and output. And graphically, if you want to represent this IPO cycle, you have to graphically represent in this way. And now, if you notice here, this arrow mark is linked with the output means your output is always depend upon your input suppose if you want to get the mango juice then your input should be mango so that the arrow itself it is saying that all your output is depend upon your input so it is graphically represent ipo cycle is graphically represented in this format. So the, draw it, write it. Now, a computer is an electronic device. It needs the set of instruction called program to perform the IPO cycle. The set of instruction which is used to do a particular task is called as the program. As computer is an electronic device, it doesn't know any kind of, uh, you can say like uh, language. We are communicating between each other by using some particular language, by communicating through the Odia, through Hindi, through English. But computer doesn't understand that kind of language. Computer only understands the zero and one. A computer, as it is an electronic device, it needs the set of instruction called as a program to perform the IPO cycle. A program needs to be written in a specific language called as a programming language. As we are using our native language, Odia, if you want to talk with uh, in other states, we are using our national language, Hindi, when you are going to the abroad, so we are using English language. The similar way, when you are giving an instruction to the computer, you have to use the language, and that language is called as the programming language. Because as computer know the zero and one format, and every instruction, if you want to pass, 
in the form of an zero and one format it is very difficult to explore anybody we cannot remember any instruction with the numbers suppose anybody is asking you that tell me uh, your uh, 10 friend number it is quite impossible number we cannot remember if you ask the name we can uh, say the hundred names but if you ask the number then it is not possible a program needs to be written in a specific language for other programming the the set of instruction we have to write for this so write this one what is programming language the set of instruction which is used the set of instruction which is used to do a specific tax the set of instruction which is used to do a specific tax is called programming language now a computer uses the step by step process to perform any tasks suppose if i ask for how to making how to make a tea for making tea first of all we have to boil the water or boil the milk then we have to put uh, tea leaves then sugar then we have to process it then we are getting the output similar way the computer is also follow the ipo cycle and you have to follow the step by step process to perform any action a, a computer follow the step by step process like first it accept the input as you know that computer is working through the ipo cycle okay so when you are passing the input or you are using any kind of software so that software is also follow the ipo cycle let's suppose if you want to log in gmail first it take your id then password that you are passing the id and password that is your input then it is validated validation means it is process that id and password is actually correct or not if it is correct then it is moving to the next page or it is open your interface or your dashboard so that is your out similar way when you write any program every program follow the ipo cycle input process and output output uh -huh. as i say <clears throat> that always your output is dependent upon your input i mean mango just so that your input will be mango then you are expecting the mango juice will come so always your output is dependent upon the what is the input you have to you have to give it so that that so that the instruction that you have to specify the kind of input will be provided the processing that needs to be done or the kind of output that you have to expect first of all everything or every instruction is depend upon your input and for getting the output what is the process you have to follow and what is the output that you are expecting so instruction in a program is of three type one is sequential step by step process you write the program then come to the next then comes to the next suppose i'm asking you that you have to add the two number first you have to take first number then second number then process is add then you are getting a result but sometimes we perform the action based upon the condition when you are taking the admission in a college first of all there is a criteria is there when you want to go for a job the so first of all there is a criteria is there that you are you are having that kind of percentage or not that kind of cgpa or not then you are eligible for getting that job 
like when we take the umbrella, if there is a rain, then we have to use the umbrella, then we have to use a, a raincoat. So that is a decision making. Similar way, when you want to delete a, delete a uh, photo from your album, okay, so here it is asking you that do you want to delete? Are you sure that you want to delete it? It is asking for the option. If you choose yes, then it is deleted. So that is a decision making. And some program is called the iterative in nature. What is that iterative in nature? Like when I am giving an alarm, suppose I want to get up morning 6 a.m. So I give that morning 6 a.m. I have to get up. I put the alarm, alarm then, Monday alarm then, then again, Tuesday, this again in the Tuesday, also I am giving you alarm in night. Wednesday, I put it Tuesday night, so every day I have to set the alarm to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to the college at 7 a.m. But if one day you forget to give the alarm, then you may not be wake up at that particular timing and you, you may not be go to your college. So that we have to set it at all days. When I put there all days, then every day at the same time, the alarm is notifying you at the same time that you have to wake up. When I'm a good day work, I'm a repetitive process. For a set and throughout the week, throughout the week, it amara chal. So that is called the iterative. So any statement that we are using, it is of three types. One is sequential, next is decision making, another is iterative. So three uh, what? You can say the instruction will be provided into the three UV. Okay, you write this one. Okay, I think you have written. So yes, I sir. a computer system uses the collection of the binary digit, which is called as the zero and one. Computer doesn't understand any language. Computer only understand. The zero and one form. I mean, Jahavi instruction pass course, when you are using laptop, in laptop keyboard, there is present A, B, C, D, E, F. So that A, B, C, D, E, F, it is for you only. Means it is for the human only that you have to read the letter A, B, C, D, E, F. But we are uh -huh. uh, Subindu Partha Sarathi. How do you know how these are going to talk to the people? Subindu join Kursi Partha Sarathi. I put a suit. How do Aslam can do it? Aslam can. So messy thoughts. So messy or see. Okay. Okay. A computer system uses the collection of binary digits. So as I told, computer doesn't understand any kind of language. Computer only understands the zero and one form. Now 
I just told over here when you are using a keyboard A B C D E F G H, it is for you only. It is for you only. But computer doesn't know what is A B C D E F K. But you are written the computer doesn't understand. Computer doesn't know what is A B C D E F K. But you are written the computer doesn't understand. Computer doesn't know what is A B C D E F K. But you are written the computer doesn't understand. Computer doesn't know what is A B C D E F K. So any instruction you pass to the computer, it is combination of the zero and the one form. Just think that for addition means for only plus symbol, computer understand this number one zero one five zero one double zero. For subtract it is one zero one triple zero one triple zero. So is it possible? Whether the plus symbol is easy for us uh, to remember, or whether these numbers are very easy, so we are not able to remember this number, and all the number is combination of this zero and one. There is no different numbers are present. It is quite impossible for the human brain. Sir, sir, uh -huh. I have a doubt. Sir, I am just the one who am programming. तो से मैंने नॉर्मली से प्रोग्रामिंग भी मैंने से जीरो वन रे भी मैंने बाइनरी रे भी ना बसे मैंने ता लैंग्वेज मैंने बुझे हिसाब रे हाँ कंप्यूटर टा जीरो वन जब तक सपोज़ हमें मानी नहीं हो मतलब पीएम मोदी गले यूनाइटेड नेशन रे से कंगले ना जाके स्पीच दे रे तो से हिंदी रे स्पीच दे रे तो यूनाइट छाड़ दिला हमारा तो रॉयल ईस्ट ईस्टर्न मीडिया हमारा रॉयल अफगानिस्तान हो पाकिस्तान हो जो मैंने उर्दू जानते हैं सेमर के बारे में पूछी पड़ी क्योंकि इंडिया ये सब पूछी पड़ी है किंतु अन्य मैंने जो रसियन जो रॉयला हमारा रॉयला जो तुर्की हो अंग्रेजी हो सेमर को हिंदी लैंग्वेज पूछी है � ताले सब लोगों को किम्बे बुझू जान बुझान थी क्या तो सेमन सेमन तो ये जो जहाँ कोई भी सेमन किसी बुझी परी हुई नहीं ताकि वो भीम तो दे दे के बड़ा एशियन कंट्री के तरह चार दले सेमन के बड़ा बुझी हम मिडिल ईस्ट के तरह कंट्री बुझी हुए ये कौन कोई जान मिडिल ईस्ट आओ ने वने बुझी परी हुई तो एमटी भी किसी कंट्री अच्छी जिम्मेदारी की तो रह इंग्लिश रह ये रही ला अमें तो रह दर नवा सब टाइप लोअर लोअर कंट्री अफगानिस्तान नवा ओके सोसाइटी टेररिस्ट मैंने तालिबान मैंने रोज में तो से मैंने इतने आवेर ना थी एजुकेशन ऊपर है तो से मैंने को इंग्लिश रह जो भी कन्वर्सन नवा से मैंने कंप्यूटर तक कौन कला ना जीरो वन वन करे कन्वर्ट कला किंतु मुझे तो आउटपुट तक देखिए कोड देखिए मोर रीजनल लैपटॉप पे देखिए तो एक एंड से कंपनी पाव बड़ी कन्वर्शन हो तो सेम थी अमें जितने भी लैंग्वेज यूज़ करी बा जहाँ भी लैंग्वेज अच्छी यूज़ हो ची वर्ल्ड रे से ऑटोमेटिकली क अमें को ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यूज़ करूँ चे, अमें लिनक्स यूज़ करूँ चे, ये ओबन टू यूज़ करूँ चे, कि अपल यूज़ करूँ ची, तो तारा प्लेटफॉर्म अनुसारे, तो ये जो जीरो एंड वन फॉर्मेट है, पूरी रीट्रांसलेट है कि ताकि बोले पहुँचे, तो ये प्रकार का कन्वर्शन है ये, मुझे ना? Yes sir. Okay. ओके दो हजार तीन हजार नंबर थे बट मैक्स तो मैक्स वी रिमेम्बर डी फाइव टू सिक्स नंबर इवी नहीं बिम्ती नंबर बेवड़े ऐसे बट नॉट रिमेम्बर आवर डुअल सिम नंबर आवर डी नंबर सिमिलर नंबर मने ना थे तो कंप्यूटर थे तो जीरो एंड वन फॉर्मेट रे सबो इंस्ट्रक्शन नंबर तो थी पे हमें से जीरो एंड वन to giving an instruction to the computer and which is easily translated to the zero and one form. So what are the high-level programming languages that are available in market today? Like you can take the example of C, C++, Java. 
and in your schooling career in your college career like in plus 2 in your 10 when you learn any language you have to follow the rules that rules is follow the grammars okay in english in 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 your hindi in your odia okay which literature subject you have so based upon that you are having a grammar you have to follow the grammar then uh, the statement if you are not following the grammar then your statement may be incorrect the similar way when you write a program you have to follow the instruction how to write the program and what is the rules are there so that rules is called as the syntax of the program and that vocabulary or grammar is called as the syntax of program okay so every everywhere there is a rules are there when you when you uh, what um, just walking in a road you have to follow the left side in india in in outer country you have to uh, uh, keep the right side okay so so that rules in programming is called as the syntax of programming language understood bujela sir sir mane a gota katha pachar thila sir ame mane jodi dekho je java c plus plus c e gula ho chi high level language to sir amara au bhi achhe enti ki jemti ki pascal cobal au for train basic e gula bhi high level language bhi ko jao chi na au eta middle level language je bhi jiba ko ya kole पर्टिकुला हार्डवेयर किने को पडिबो जेमति कि एबे कोन छि ना हमें जतले एंड्रॉइड मोबाइल फोन यूज करू छे तादरे 128 टेक्नोलॉजी माने सपोर्ट करू छे त 128 टेक्नोलॉजी वर्ल्ड रे जदि सपोर्ट करा मींस मोस्ट ऑफ द ऐप यू कैन डाउनलोड इन द एंड्रॉइड मोबाइल बट दैट इज नॉट हैपन इन द एप्पल एप्पल ले केते रेस्ट्रिक्टेड रहू छे एप्पल स्टोर रे हमें जति कि गूगल स्टोर रे जति कि ऐप उडा रहू छे एप्पल स्टोर रे जति कि ऐप उडा रहू Okay, that uh, security wise it is high, but you have to use the particular software. You have to download the particular software for. The both particular language are there, but the same thing. Out of data, sir, I am a middle language only. Quite high, sir, low level language quite high. So, this is high level we use. Because we have C language, sir, there is. Because in nineteen eighty four, four or two. Okay, nineteen eighty four or max to max, sir, I am going to talk about. रिस्ट्रक्चर जो है कि आसला प्रोग्रामिंग जो कंप्यूटर रे बेसिक यूज हला सो दैट इन द ईयर ऑफ 1990 ता परटो हमें देखिबा जा भी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सब आसला तो सेटा को माने सब बिलोंग्स करले इन योर हाई लेवल प्रोग्रामिंग बुझला सर जो ताहाले ए जो कोबाल अछि ताले फॉर रिटन बेसिक ए जो पास्कल ताले एउडा नॉर्मली हम कंप्यूटर रे केबे यूज ही करू ना खाली जावा सी सी प्लस प्लस एउडा ही यूज करू हाँ एबे आमे एटा यूज करछु आगुरो सेटा यूज करा जाउथिला किंतु ताको कंपाइलेशन करिया पय हेले आमे पुनी आउटे प्लेटफार्म आमे यूज करू बुझि होछ एठी को आउछि ना गुटे प्लेटफार्म भीतर आमे सब जिंस पाउ जेमति आमे कहि परिबा आमे रिलायंस जिबा रिलायंस बने ता गुटे फ्लोर थिबो रिलायंस डिजिटल थिबो गुटे पकरे रिलायंस जुएल्स थिबो शूज थिबो गुटे थिरे ग्रोसरी थिबो गुटे पकरे वेजिटेबल्स थिबो माने गुटे जगह रे आमे जदि सब जिंस पाउ छे तले मते 15 टा जगह बोलिबा दरकार नै मोर टाइम सरियो तो एज अ बिजी शेड्यूल आई हैव टू गो टू द दैट मार्ट ओनली सो वेयर आई गॉट ऑल द थिंग्स बुझिला यस सर नाउ देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट ए कंप्यूटर कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द इंस्ट्रक्शन रिटन इन अ पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज जस्ट मो पूर्व पूर्व कहिथिले जे कंप्यूटर ओनली अंडरस्टैंड द 0 एंड 1 4 then is computer is going to the institution to learn the c and the no then how the computer will able to understand this language to solve this particular problem a special program called compiler is okay so compiler converting the uh, particular programming language 
particular programming language into machine language. Machine language, it is nothing but it is zero and one format. The compiler is called as a translator, which is converting the programming language into machine language. Okay. And the process of compilation, the process of translating the programming language into machine language is called as the compilation. Compiler process the statement written in particular programming language and convert them into machine language. The process of translating programming language code into machine language is code is called as the compiler. Okay. Uh, so write this point. First is compiler. Next point is compilation. Right. Sir, written. Okay. and Subendu, complete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now the most in interesting part we have to cover the tools. You can use to represent the procedure to solve a problem. I mean, who just the quasi or matic or my coda use for you? Sabor use for you. The coda sabor use for you. I mean, for even a matic. Similar way, when you want to represent your logic, we are using three problem solving tools. One is Algorithm, flowchart, next is pseudocode. It is the three problem solving tools that we are using where we represent our logic. We represent the programming logic. Khara jeta wale bana jaye, jeta wale mystery mane aise ki direct khori ki khara bani diyo the. Se wale map ko follow karo. Se map ki karo tumti na civil engineer bani thiyo, koi pillar hawa. Would it beam for you? The same answer is a structure for each other. It was the pre analysis method. The similar way, when you are getting a job in developing part, that doesn't mean you will go there and just write the code over. No. First of all, you have to analyze the customer requirement. There is a team is present, the marketing team, or you can say, like, analyze the team. So, with the marketing team, another developer team, like, the requirement. Gatherment team is there. So they are both going to the customer location. Marketing team that would deal with you. Final alert. Developer team that you analyze the team. So you have a requirement that you have to note down for you. Okay, then the analyzer team that you have to do the problem that you graphically represent. So you have to text where you represent, but technical where you represent. So that it is helping the developer team to develop the entire program. Okay, so for analyzing or um, but gathering the information, the tools that we're using, <coughs> that is algorithm, flowchart, or another is pseudo. Okay, okay. algorithm, flowchart, and pseudo code, the three problem solving tools we're using. So write that problem solving tools.
Next comes to the features of algorithm. An algorithm is a sequence of steps required to solve a problem. To solve a problem, we are using algorithm. Characteristics of algorithm. Algorithm ends after fixed number of steps. Every algorithm ends after fixed number of steps. Each step in the algorithm clearly specifies the action to be performed. प्रत्येक अल्गोरिदीम टाइप गोटे फिक्स नंबर ऑफ स्टेप रे काम करिवो इच स्टेप्स इन द अल्गोरिदीम क्लियरली स्पेसिफाई द एक्शन टू बी परफॉर्म को एक्शन टा परफॉर्म करा जिवो सेटा हमरा डिफाइन करा जिवो द स्टेप्स इन द अल्गोरिदीम स्पेसिफाई द बेसिक ऑपरेशन लाइक इट इंक्लूड कैलकुलेशन इनपुट आउटपुट ऑपरेशन एंड कंपैरिजन इन सम स्टेप रे से कोन करिवो ना इनपुट आउटपुट ऑपरेशन थी वो सम स्टेप रहती थी वो हमारा कोना कंपैरिजन थी वो वो जाने कैलकुलेशन थी वो एन अल्गोरिथम एक्सेप्ट द इनपुट दैट आई ने डिफाइन फॉरवर्ड मुझे तो कोई भी चीज़ तुम्हें जाने के पानी है ना तो तुम्हें कौन करीबो ना कोटे क्लास रहनी कोटे वाटर बोतल ले कोटे बोतल ले आनी The algorithm accepts the input data in a defined format before it can be processed. An algorithm generates one or more output. Algorithm generates one or more output after input is processed. But algorithm, the process of the one or more output generated. An algorithm is also follow the IPO cycle. Algorithm also follow the IPO cycle. ओके अल्गोरिथम मध्य आईपीओ साइकिल फॉलो कर लेते लिखनी है फटाफट लिखनी है तो इतना द अमाउंट दिस दिस वन दिस वन इट ड्रा द अमाउंट फ्रॉम एटीएम फर्स्ट स्टार्ट द अल्गोरिथम इंसर्ट योर एटीएम कार्ड एटीएम मशीन चेक्स द कार्ड डिटेल्स एंटर द पिन नंबर Okay, enter the PIN number. First, start the algorithm, insert the ATM card. So when you are inserting ATM card, ATM machine checks the card details. The card is valid or not. Then, press the cash with the receipt button. Select the amount you want to withdraw. Then collect your ATM card. ATM machine count the cash. Then collect the ATM, ATM uh, collect the uh, amount from the ATM machine, collect the statement from ATM machine, end of algorithm. So it has algorithm of state. So it mark kariwa, it has algorithm to start kariwa. It has start of a start algorithm, end of a end algorithm. It is a step of compulsory liquid. Start algorithm and end algorithm. Ta vita rame sub step like. Okay. Ta parame use kariwa dekha. It is out of text mo nochi, it is a border text to the lab. But at a simple text number, start the algorithm, accept the first number, accept the second number, multiply the two number, display the result, end of algorithm. So first the algorithm start over, start the algorithm, accept the first number, accept the second number, multiply the two number, display the result, end of algorithm. So these are the six steps we have to follow. Okay. Let me look at your algorithm.
completed. So this algorithm you can represent in another way. I come out here another but technical way be like very well. Second, the recovery cup. What are I let is start? I'll start the algorithm. Let a b and product be the three number. Accept the value of a. Accept the value of b. Product is equal to a into b. Display product. Then end of algorithm. Start the algorithm. Let a and b. Let a b and product be the three number. Accept the value of a. Accept the value of b. Product is equal to a into b. They take a multiply color. Display the product. End of algorithm. So this is step I'm following. Really clear. Yes, sir. A, B, product, these are called the variable. Why it is variable? Because its value is always changes. When you go to the boss, the boss is the seat that you allocate, it is not fixed for you. If you go to the place, you can go to the place, your destination is over, you can go to the place, you can go to the place. The variable is a memory location where you have to store the value. And that value is always changes. Okay, the variable type of the memory location, you can value store kariwa, and the value does always changes out. Constant is a memory location where we store the value. That value never changes. The value can be changes out. In the preceding algorithm, A, B, and product are the variable. A is one variable, B is one variable. Okay. Because its value is always changes. Then product is another variable. Mu a jagar dui debi, b jagar teen debi. Tar matte result asse o six. A jagar ten debi, b jagar twenty debi. Result nasti o two hundred. So sabole value ta changes. Aavi jo equal separator ami use kori bire kalle tak kajwa assignment ho. Ta lekha what is variable? Variable is a memory location. Who yar? Variable is a memory location. Who yar? We store the value where we store the value, and that value is always changes. Yes. Constant is a memory location where we store the value. Sir, at the next point. Next point, like constant. Heading now constant. Constant is a memory location where we store the value. Yes. And that value, that value never changes. Same thing I mean, quite pariva. Pi value, so pi pi value is never changes. Okay, that is always three point one. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay, so it is all about uh, today class. Okay, so I will share the uh, uh, video recording also. Okay, so. So tomorrow again we start from this next. Okay. California same we'll start for you. Okay. Yes. So jo notes or sir eight through a Kalja Tiga Docs T the Kavan upon us or say how to send Korea. Okay. So proper in notes Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.